Brandon's Flowers, we love our customers and we want you to stay safe. We pair with our local wholesaler, McCullum Sauer, another family owned and operated business, to bring you this fun DIY kit for those of you looking for something to do while at home. Your kit will include flowers, a vase, greenery, and flower food, so you can make this fun arrangement. Ladies night doesn't have to be canceled. Grab your favorite choice of drink and go live with your friend and design together. Since science has proven that flowers make you happy, this DIY kit is perfect to go live with your friends and family while at home. Now we will show you how to design your arrangement and we will put our link in our bio. Feel free to change anything. Have fun with it. This is your creation. We're just here to give you some pointers and advice. Hi guys, Michelle here with Brandon's Flowers. I am here to give you um, tips and pointers on how to do this compact arrangement with one of your DIY kits that we provide. Um, this particular kit comes again with all your flowers. So we have got peach roses, beautiful purple tulips, mini green hydrangeas, hot pink spray roses, and some cream hypericum berries. The greenery we'll be using today in this arrangement is going to be your variegated pit and some seeded eucalyptus. So first, once we start, obviously you're gonna fill your vase with water and then add some flower food that comes in your, in your packet. I'm only adding about half a packet because of the amount of, of water that we're using in this particular vase, which is great because in a couple days you'll wanna change out your water, add some more flower food to it. Um, you also need either a sharp knife or some gardening shears when you're cutting. And remember to be sure when you're cutting your flowers to cut them at an angle. That way when it goes into the water, it's at an angle so it's got plenty of room for the stem to, to absorb the water. So let's get started. So first I'm going to add our greenery, which is again the variegated pit. And we're going to, to come in at angles with them to kind of make a grid in your vase. And that'll help hold um, your flowers in place once you put them in there. And again, just keep in mind, this is an arrangement, you know, I'm making. These are your flowers. Have fun with it. Be creative. Oops. <laughs> and then with the seeded eucalyptus, again, this is my personal preference. I like kind of putting them at the end so it kind of drapes over the, the edge. So now we have our vase all greened and ready for the flowers. So next I'm going to go start by adding our hydrangeas. And if you like to utilize your whole flower, save, save the stem and then you've got extra greenery you can use and add into it if you'd like as well. Now that we have our hydrangeas in, I'm going to move on to our roses next. And let's see here. It smells so good. Now, as you see, I'm pulling off some of these petals. We call these our packaging petals. It's not doing any damage to the flowers. Um, it's just when they're packaged, they're packed really tight and sometimes can bruise the outer petals. But it's okay, go ahead and peel them off. It doesn't do any, won't do any harm to your roses. Okay, next I'm going to go in with our tulips. And what's pretty interesting about tulips is tulips is one of the flowers that even though it's cut from the bulb, it will continue to grow in your water. So one day you might find your, your tulip over here, next day it might be pointing up and you'll notice a little bit longer. That's okay, tulips do that. Um, just when you change out your water, just be sure to give them you know, an extra fresh cut. Now 
now we'll move on to our spray roses. And another design tip, when you're designing, um, especially those who are new or unexperienced to, to floral designing, um, you might not know where exactly, how short, how long to keep, to keep your, your stem. So the best thing I always suggest, you know, rather cut too long than too short. You can always cut it shorter, you can't add length to your stem. So basically figure out where you want your, your flower to go. And then measure with your finger on where you'd like to cut it. So being that I want that one there, I know to cut here. And there we go. And last but not least, we'll just add some accents. And again, this is called the um, a cream hypericum berry. And there we go. This is one of our DIY compact kits. And again, just remember, this is your arrangement. It's going in your house or somebody you can, or you can give to, to a friend. Have fun with it. Be creative. We would like to thank um, McCollum Saber again, a third generation floral wholesaler who's been in business since 1975 for supplying us and our clients with these wonderful DIY kits. Thank you, have fun, and design on.